Welcome back and thanks for joining us. Data is driving new ways to market all of Montana as a tourist destination and is helping to convince visitors to find new adventures outside Glacier and Yellowstone National Parks. And that's changing not only Montana's tourist industry for now, but for years to come. MTN's Dennis Bragg explains. In years gone by, the main challenge of tourism marketing in Montana was to get people to drive all the way to Big Sky Country. And that meant marketing our two national parks as once-in-a-lifetime trips. But today, with Glacier and Yellowstone headed for another record or near-record summers, internet fame is taking care of that job, with social media changing how people share their experiences. Those trends, along with extremely detailed data, are allowing the Montana Office of Tourism and Business Development to focus more marketing efforts on the state's less-known attractions and adventures, the kinds of trips people are looking for. It's distributing people across the state. We're also able to target people with different interests such as like if it's a um, a non-family traveler we know that they will have more flexibility to come in the fall so we'll target to them and say come to the parks but come a different time of year. In fact if you peruse the state's marketing materials now you see a lot less old faithful and a lot more adventures. We're continuing on a strategy where we're focusing you'll see a lot of our summer advertising does not feature parks anymore. It's featuring things to do outside of the parks. We have a huge road trip component, people who want to drive in and go to multiple places in the state. That effort called Between the Parks is using Montana's ahead of the pack marketing initiatives combined with data and the internet to show people what Big Sky Country really has to offer. We have one that's going after our family traveler that is um, 72 hours of adventure where you can go and see how much you can pack into a weekend of different adventures that doesn't include the park. We also have one that's, that's aimed at our, um, our couples who are educated traveler who maybe don't have kids who are coming through and they are also road tripping and wanting to see ghost towns and want to be hiking and want to be camping and want to be doing different things in the state. It used to be that the park was their main destination. They would plan their whole trip about going to one of the national parks. Now it's just a component of their trip where they'll go into the park for a day and then they'll go around and explore other parts of the state, of the state for the rest of their trip. And in the long run, Palais says that will diversify Montana's tourism industry and its economic impact. So what our visitor wants an authentic experience, and I always tell people, our visitor isn't coming here to do something, they're coming here to feel something. In Helena, Dennis Bragg, MTN News. Now even though the parks are crowded again this summer, the state says they aren't seeing enough people complain so as to avoid visiting Glacier and Yellowstone.